हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित एंड आई एक्सटेंड माय सिंसियर थैंक्स टू ऑल दोज हु आर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैव नॉट ऑलरेडी सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल काइंडली टू सब्सक्राइब टू इट सो दैट यू गेट आवर वीडियोस वेरी फास्ट एंड इन आवर टू डेज लेक्चर वी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट कंजेनिटल जेनाइटल एपनॉर्मिटीज इन द मेल एनिमल्स friends i am professor g n purohit the head department of veterinary gynecology and obstetrics college of veterinary and animal science bikaner rajasthan india in our today's topic we discuss about the congenital genital abnormalities in the male animals the topic 1 would be abnormalities of the testes and scrotum topic 2 defects of the epididymis topic 3 defects of the penis and prepuce topic 4 defects of the accessory sex glands friends abnormalities of the testes scrotum and epididymis which are congenital include the intersexes testicular hyperplasia cryptorchidism and anarchism the intersexes are common in goats in pigs and the most common intersex in cattle is uh, the free martin free martin is a uh, infertile male born cotwin to a female then there is the xx sex reversal is a syndrome occurring in genetic females in which another autosomal gene acts like a y chromosome thereby including male characteristics it has been observed in pigs and polled goats most most intersex pigs have testes or ovo testes which is known as the male pseudo hermaphroditism and often a fish hook like vulva you can see in this picture again in a goat a fish hook like vulva is seen and in a pig also <laughs> then testicular hypoplasia or what is known as hypogonadia testicular hypoplasia has been described in several domestic species and is associated with chromosomal abnormalities in some cases it is common in some family lines in the camels in bulls the occurrence of testicular hypoplasia is in most populations is about 0.5 to 1% but may be higher as found in the swedish highland breed the occurrence of testicular hypoplasia in rams and probably bucks is comparable to that in bulls the hypoplastic testes may be as small as one quarter of the normal size you can see here uh, testicular hypoplasia in a buffalo bull this is a normal buffalo bull and this is a affected buffalo bull the testes is very small the bulls with testicular hypoplasia should be avoided to be used for breeding because it is uh, considered to be inherited then cryptorchidism cryptorchidism is a failure of one or both testes to descend into the scrotum it is seen in all domestic animals but is common in stallions and boars and is the most common disorder of sexual development in dogs most cases of cryptorchidism are unilateral the left testes being retained more often than the right bilateral cryptorchids are always sterile but fertility of unilateral cases is impaired to a varying degree compensatory hypertrophy occurs in the opposite normal testes you can see here this bull has only one testes but it is much 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 enlarged the bilateral cryptorchidism results in sterility cryptorchidism is probably caused by a combination of genetic epigenetic and environmental factors abdominal testes produces male hormones and cryptorchid animals have normal secondary sex characteristics and mating behavior but breeding with such type of males is not suggested because of the inherited nature of the problem you can see here a cryptorchid male dog a buffalo bull with only one testes a stallion with only one testes then again a stallion with very uh, small testes again this is a uh, normal bull this is a bull uh, with 
cryptarchid bull and this is a bull with testicular hypoplasia again you can appreciably see the difference this is a uh, bull calf with the normal testes and this is a bull calf with the cryptarchid testes which is uh, double the size of the normal testes other rare testicular anomalies include synorchia fusion of both testes observed in the boar testicular ectopia which is location of the testes uh, at a place beyond the scrotum so you see here the testes in a dog is located inguinally instead of being located in the scrotum then testicular anorchia absence of both testes and testicular heteropia seen in pigs as pale nodules of testicular tissue, uh, tissue on the peritoneum then this is a ectopic testes visible lateral to the penis with its independent uh, structure the scrotal abnormalities include failure of fusion and include bifurcation in scrotal clefts bifurcation of the scrotum is associated with hypospadias a urinary tract closure defect you can see here uh, this is a scrota bifida in a buffalo bull and again a scrota bifida in a bull you can see here in a bull the normal testes and is uh, scrotum with uh, bifid uh, testes then defects of the epididymis partial or complete segmental aplasia of the structures originating from the mesonephric ducts has been described in bulls bilateral hy epididymal hypoplasia has been described in azoospermic stallions and camelids in camelids segmental aplasia of the epididymis is often associated with epididymal and rated testes cis Spermato spermatic granulomas not uncommon as solitary lesions in the head of the epididymis of the ram and goat but are less common in other species probably result from distension of spermatozoa of blind ending tubules in the afferent duct area the condition appears to be inherited expanding spermatocoels and the vigorous inflammatory response to the extravasated spermatozoa may compromise all afferent ducts on the affected side Segmental aplasia of the epididymis is usually unilateral. The body and tail are absent, most frequently concurrently with the corresponding ampulla and seminal vesicles in about one third of cases. Epididymal aplasia is best studied in the bull, in which its inheritance seems likely, but is seen also in the ram, buck, and boar. After puberty, aplasia results in spermiostasis, spermatic granuloma formation, and testicular. degeneration other epididymal anomalies include ectopic adrenal cortical tissue and the frequent presence of small cystic remnants of the mesonephric structures the cysts filled with clear fluid are located most often at the junction of the epididymal head and testes they are detected only at necropsy usually seem to disappear with increasing age and are of little clinical significance as with the epididymis and vas deferens the major congenital anomaly of the seminal vesicles and ampullae is segmental aplasia aplasia is best studied in the bull most often is unilateral and on the affected side the ampulla is completely absent or rudimentary and the seminal vesicle is markedly hypoplastic and sometimes cystic this can either be palpated or a ultrasound uh, evaluation would give the clear picture of the aplasia of the seminal vesicles in the bull in the bull seminal vesicle hypoplasia of varying severity may occur independently of aplasia of the ampulla or vas deferens other anomalies of these structures include fusion and appendages and it should be noted that there is in any case in normal bulls significant variation in the relationship of the ampullae to the seminal vesicles all these changes may be detected by rectal examination anomalous development although mostly incidental may predispose to infection anomalies of the bulbo urethral gland include congenital retention cysts in the bulls and probably in rams and bucks and aplasia hypoplasia and fusion in bulls these changes are incidental and seem unlikely to compromise the fertility it is of some interest that in general anomalous development of accessory sex glands 
seems much more common in bulls than in bucks. Then the abnormalities of the penis and pupils. Persistent penile frenulum is the most common abnormality observed in bulls. The affected bulls are unable to protrude the penis from the sheet and in most cases cannot achieve intromission. Attachment can be minimal, maybe 0.5 cm or the pupusial mucosa can be attached the full length of the ventral rape of the free part of the penis. Genetic association is suspected in some breeds. Surgical correction should not be performed in bulls intended for seed stock breeding. Many male foals may appear to have a persistent frenulum at birth, but the condition resolves within a few days. If the condition persists, correction should not be attempted until the foal is at least one month old. Then prepucial prolapse occurs due to a lack of or a weak prepucial retractor muscle in polled breeds. The condition is exacerbated when these breeds are crossed with the Brahman cattle. Congenital short penis has been observed in bulls as you can see in this picture and may be associated with short retractor penis muscles which prevent full erection. Bulls may breed satisfactorily in the first season, but copulation becomes impossible as their body size increases. Then there is the spiral or the corkscrew deviation as you can see in this picture in the bull. Short retractor penis may occur congenitally or after injury to the penis or prepuce. Affected bulls have normal libido, but during attempted service, the penis is only partially protruded from the sheath and the ejaculatory thrust does not occur. Failure of erection in bulls may be congenital condition, but is generally a sequelae of trauma and or hematoma of the penis. Then congenital vascular shunts have been described in bulls with partial erection or erection failure. Another condition is hypospadias in an abnormal opening of the urethra due to failure or incomplete closure of the embryonic urethral groove. You can see here in the bull the hypospadias. Partial or complete lack of the sigmoid flexor of the penis has been observed in rams and bulls and penile hypoplasia possibly is as possibly associated with shortening of the retractor penis muscle has been described in the bull. Hypoplasia of the glans penis only has been reported. Other rare ab anomalies in the bull include abnormal insertion of the retractor penis muscle, partial or complete penile duplication which is known as diphalia. You can see here in the picture the bull is having two penises, supernumerary ectopic penis and detached urethral process in which the free end of the penis is bifid and resembles bi diphalia and hypospadias in which there is a closure defect of the urethral folds of varying size located along the raphae of the penis. Congenital dilation of the penile urethra has been described in the buck. Persistent penile frenulum, which is the most common condition, occurs in the bull, buck and boar and prevents normal erection and ability to copulate, but is readily corrected surgically. When it is inherited or not, whether it is inherited or not, continues to be controversial. In a study on 968 slaughtered bulls, 46% of which were young post-pubertal animals, the incidence of the different conditions was as uh, shown in this table. The highest incidence was for bulbourethral cysts, followed by mesonephric duct abnormalities, uh, followed by cryptorchidism, penile frenulum, detached urethral process, hypospadias, and testicular hyperplasia. You can see here another case of persistent penile frenulum in a bull. This is a case of hypospadias and this is a case of hypospadias in a male dog. This is a case of prepucial prolapse, prepuce is uh, prolapsed out and congenital short penis. So you can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com. This is my YouTube channel link. This is my LinkedIn link and you can contact me. So kindly listen to the lecture completely, give your comments, likes and share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Govind Narayan Purohit if you like them. Thank you. Thank you so much.